Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Roy Destroya, and this is Top 10 Nerd. There is a lot of buzz about the cybernetic cable now that he is set to appear in Deadpool 2, which opens May 18. But the alternate reality of the movies isn't the only one this character has been seen in. In fact, he's been around the many Earths of Marvel more than you may realize. So let's take a look at the top 10 alternate versions of cable. In the number 10 spot is What If Cable. What if Cable destroyed the X-Men? Luckily enough, in this theoretical world, we found the answer. This version of Cable has a clash of beliefs with Professor X and his X-Men, and he and his group of new mutants proceed to assassinate Xavier, as well as this world's Jean Grey and Cyclops. His rampage is eventually stopped, but set in motion some pretty intense infighting that Magneto thought he could take advantage of for his own means. Next to number 9 is War. In the Age of Apocalypse universe, one version of Cable that we encounter is the horseman known as War. He was one of four people Apocalypse thought would make good heralds through corruption. And seems like he hit the nail on the head. This guy claims to have killed his world's Deadpool once already. He was also the one horseman that could not be defeated by the main continuity Deadpool, who thought it best to just body slide on out of there. In the number 8 spot we have House of M Cable. We are introduced to a little baby in the House of M universe who is being raised by Mr. Sinister. Lo and behold, the one eyed baby is none other than Cable himself. A bit smaller than we are used to seeing him. The baby was enhanced with an extract from Deadpool's immune system, so he was growing physically quick and so was his power, leading to one big tantrum machine. Deadpool eventually found his friend, albeit a bit younger than he remembered him, and took him back to raise him as his own, in a Deadpool-y kind a fatherly way. Up in number 7 is the mage. This version of Cable appeared in the graphic novel known as Wolverine, Ron of Terra. Instead of being known as Cable, he is known as the mage. He carries a warlock staff and crossbow as his weapons of choice rather than a gun. Presumably because guns weren't around in the fantasy land this story takes place. And since when did he become such a grammar Nazi? Coming in at number 6 we got NYXF Cable. This was one of few versions of Cables from the worlds that we see in Millennial Visions. Earth 1030 is one with a growing mutant population and in need of a way to control it. Like how introducing wolves can thin out a deer population. Cable is the head of the NYFX, a group devoted to policing the mutant population and ensuring order. Seems a little backwards what he's usually trying to do, but whatever works man. Next up in number 5 is EarthX Cable. Or at least we think it's Cable. This version has been infected by a techno-organic virus that's turned his entire body into an unrecognizable pile of techno-orgo matter. This did save him from the skull's wave that killed off all of the other telepaths. But at what price really? He was buried beneath Sentinel City and there he lay until help happens by in the form of the heroine Iron Maiden. And then still he lay, because she apparently was inadequate for the job. Up next in number 4 we have General Cable. The Deadpool pulp timeline occurred in the limited series that was set in the 50s. Here we see a version of Cable known as General Cable. He is the one responsible for suggesting to hire Deadpool to retrieve a nuclear briefcase that has gone missing. He's met with opposition from others at the CIA due to the fact that Deadpool is certifiably insane. But he holds fast to his decision, even after a psychologist says this man must be institutionalized now. But I mean, who else better to retrieve something you've lost other than someone who's eaten his own thumbs? In the number 3 spot we have Animated Cable. Because we are very soon getting an on screen version of Summers, we should touch on his screen appearance prior. He made several appearances as a minor character on X Men the Animated Series. Here he's got the familiar arm, but it's said to be bionic as opposed to techno organically converted. And here he is also from the year 3999 and in control of an army at war with Apocalypse. So it'll be very interesting to see what kind of story our live action Cable gets. Coming in at number 2 is X-Men Forever Cable. The world of X-Men Forever brings us another young Cable. Older than a baby, but really not by much. Little Nathan Summers was raised by his great grandma and grandpa in Alaska to remain oblivious to daddy Cyclops' violent lifestyle. But of course, the son of a superhero is never safe for long. He had to be moved into protective custody eventually. Obviously these people did not read enough comics or they would have seen that coming from miles away. And finally, in the number 1 spot we got Ultimate Cable. In the timeline of Ultimate X-Men, Cable is actually James Howlett here, a name you most associate with Wolverine. Indeed, he is Wolverine here, complete with claws and all. Because according to writer Robert Kirkman, he's got the arm, he's got the eye, he's got the gun, so what could make him cooler? Throw in some good old Wolvie claws on this bad boy. Super convenient when he needs to convince Professor X to come with him to the future to fight Apocalypse. So those were the top 10 alternate versions of Cable. Let me know in the comment section down below who do you want alternate versions of next. My name is Rory Destroya, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.